this video from Shop Stuff. We're going to take a closer look at a couple of the features on the Casio SES 400 cash register. First key feature is the operator display. The operator display is fully adjustable, so you can have it tilting up as high as that, or you can have it back down in the standard position. It's a bright LCD display, and every item entered on the sale will appear on the screen. One advantage of the screen is that you have a button which will enable you to review or void an item if you have entered something incorrectly. So there's an arrow down button on the keyboard so you can scroll down to an item that you entered by mistake and simply void it off the sale rather than using a sequence of buttons to void an item like you had to do on the old SES 300. As well as the operator display you also have a fully adjustable adjustable customer rear display which will turn that far that way and all the way around that way. The customer rear display is also LCD and it's also got a line of alpha so it will display the not only the price but also the item or department name so the customer can see that and it will also display the running subtotal of a sale as well. We subtotal that, so it's £7.5 and that's displayed on the operator display and also on the customer rear display. If you're short on space you don't have the customer pole up, you can simply pop it back down to the default position. We cash that sale off, we can also have a look at the receipt that prints out. The SES 400 is a single station thermal printer, so if you need two printers then you need to look at the other model which is the SES 3000. Because it's got one printer you can have it operated in either receipt or journal mode. In receipt mode you can have the receipt switched off and then if someone requires a receipt you can print a copy receipt on request. We've currently got this one set up in receipt mode. So you can see here on the receipt it prints the date, the time and all the items sold. As standard out the box it has a Casio default header message, your receipt, thank you, call again. But you can edit this to be a four line customised receipt header with your shop name, address or whatever you need on there. The machine is also provided with operator and manager keys. The operator key will only turn to the register or sales position whereas the manager key will enable you to turn to other modes on the secure key lock. So you have an X position which is for doing your X reports or flash reports. You have a Z, a Z mode for doing your end of day sales reports. You can do a report by just a normal Z1 or you can do a group report or a PLU report. You also have the X2, Z2 position for periodic reports. If you use these correctly then you can use the 1Z to be a weekly report and the periodic 2Z to be a monthly report. You also have around this side you have an RF position for refunds and then you also have the PGM mode if you need to adjust the descriptions or prices of your products or departments. For more information on the SES 400 and other Casio cash registers supplied by ShopStuff please visit the ShopStuff website where you'll find plenty of information and more sales videos on all the models. Thanks for watching.